We now have one last vector problem. This one's a little bit tricky. You can see it here, it's sort of like a story problem. It's like physics also. We have two forces, F1, the magnitude is 60 newtons. And you can think of an object being here at the origin and this F1 force is pushing it in a direction of 30 degrees. But there's a second force, F2, which isn't quite as strong, it's 50 newtons, but it's pushing it more down at a negative direction of 45. So the question is, since both these forces are pushing on the object at the same time, what is the result? And a lot of times they call that the resultant vector. You can see here the resultant force. So really, this is a problem of adding two vectors together. You need to add vector F1 to vector F2 and see what happens. But the reason why this is tricky because you can't add vectors together when they are currently in the magnitude and direction format. The only time we can add vectors together is if they're in the IJ format. So for this problem, we're going to, have to take vector, the vec we're going to, have to take force F1, convert it to an IJ vector, and then take force F2, convert it to IJ, and then add them together. And as it turns out, what's nice is then they want the answer in IJ, so we don't have to convert it back. So I went ahead, because it's going to take some room, I just sort of made a copy of that problem right here. So what they really want is their resultant force vector, which is F1 plus F2. But in order to add two vectors together, they have to be in IJ form. So first step is we're going to take F1 and convert it into IJ, and then we'll take F2 and convert it to IJ. So first, we can look at F1. So F1 the magnitude is 60 the angle is 30 degrees. So to convert that into IJ, we take the magnitude times the cosine of the angle. We'll call this angle 1. And that's the I part. And then we take the magnitude again, multiply by the sine of the angle. That's the J part. So let's just do that. The magnitude is 60, cosine of 30 degrees, plus 60, sine of 30 degrees J. So you grab your calculator, make sure you're in the degree mode. 30 cosine times 60. 51.96 that's the I part then 30 degrees the sine times 60 equals 30 J So there's the F1 force vector. I did the same thing for F2. So up here, the magnitude's 50, and the angle's minus 45. So for the J, 50 times the sine of negative 45. So, 
negative 45 cosine oh you know what sorry they want exact answers so actually cosine this is actually square root of 3 over 2 so let's call this 30 square root of 3 this one's fine cosine of negative 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2 so 50 times square root of 2 over 2 i times 50 the sine of negative 45 degrees is negative square root of 2 over 2 so this is going to be 25 square root of 2 i minus 25 square root of 2j. So here are those two force vectors that are pushing on the same point. Now we can actually add them together. So I'll go over here, F1 plus F2. F1 is 30 square root of 3i plus 30j. F2 is 25 square root of 2i minus 25 square root of 2j. So it's like we're adding those together. You add the i parts and j parts. So the resultant vector, or the answer, you can't really combine these. 30 square root of 3 plus 25 square root of 2. That's the I part. Plus 30 minus 25 square root of 2. And that's the J part. So that's pretty much how you attack that kind of a problem. And I'm just checking, and this is in fact the correct answer. So you have to convert your vectors in the IJ form, and then you can add them.